Matt from uh, Hilltop Imports here. So we're just showing you uh, what will happen if for some reason the firmware has gone corrupt or the procedure's a little incorrect um, as it's a little bit hard to understand by the written instructions. So this remote here uh, will not power on. Uh, no power to it at all. Um, this particular one um, has had the incorrect firmware uh, loaded and uh, we're just going to show you the correct way to do it and how it will also repair this one at the same time. So basically what we do is we connect it up to the computer first and then on the screen over here uh, we open up our firmware tools and then in device number one we load our software, which should be firmware radio control, which you can download online. And note that it puts it, puts it in the uh, number one block, but number one isn't selected. So make sure that's selected. If you leave number two selected, uh, it will corrupt the remote controller. So we'll select number one. And the update button you'll notice is actually greyed out. Now on the... Um, written instructions. It says to push the power button once on the remote controller um, and then it says to uh, press and hold. So what they actually mean by that is as you'll notice the greyed out button, if I actually just hold my finger on that power button, all of a sudden the update appears. But I still have to hold continuously that button down. So once you push it down, hold it. At the same time, press update let it go to 100%, still holding the button obviously all the way. Once it comes up with that grey 100%, I can release this, and you're still going to get nothing on the remote control. Uh, I'll now disconnect it. Disconnect it out the back, and see if it powers on. And there we go, we've got power. Thank you.